What's up guys, welcome to another Buddy Showcase. Today, I'm going to be showing you Tony Tailslide. Tony can be purchased over at the Smash GG shop for RCS Season 4's Smash GG page. I'm going to have a link for that down in the description. The other buddies you can also purchase over there are Sunbird and Loxabot. And it's not just buddies, they also have a bunch of merch, some artwork, and some skins for characters if you guys are interested in that as well. So make sure to go check out that link down in the description. I guess since I listed some of the buddies, I should probably list some of the other ones that are purchasable off of something like the Steam page. So on Steam, you can also get the uh, Kragling buddy. He's the only one that's on there right now. So if you don't have him yet, make sure you go pick him up. I think most of the other buddies, they're purchasable like in-game with Ether coins. And I think the only other one that you have to actually buy is Aldor because it goes straight to charity for Gamers on the Edge. I want to let you guys know that I also have a for sure streaming schedule now on Twitch and I also have a schedule for when I'm posting on YouTube. Every Monday, Friday, I stream at 2 p.m. CST till about 6 p.m. CST, sometimes 7 depending on the day. I start off with Animal Crossing in the beginning, and then sometimes I do some stuff in the middle, and I usually just close it out with Rivals now. So if you guys want to come over and do some viewer battles or just hang out, chill, talk some rival stuff, feel free to do that. I'm always down to talk about Rivals no matter what it is, whether it's like patches from forever ago, some future ideas for Rivals, character specific stuff, skin specific stuff, what my favorite buddy is, any of that. By the way, my favorite buddies are Tommy Prickles and Loxobot. As far as YouTube, if you haven't already been able to tell, I post every Tuesday and every Friday. I've been doing one week Rivals, then the next week Animal Crossing, and then I just keep continuing that just to, I don't know, keep with a schedule but not like get burnt out on one game really quick. Like I hope you guys have been enjoying it. If you have, comment below, let me know, and uh, hit that like button as well. Alright, now that we got all that crap out the way, let me just start talking about everything I know about Tony Taylor Slide. I know I haven't done this for a lot of the buddies in the past, I've only spoken a little bit about it, but here we go. So the characters that Tony Tail Slide changes colors for is a lot. So I'm going to tell you which ones he doesn't change colors for. He changes colors for a total of 10 characters, and the ones that he doesn't change colors for are Forsburn, Zetterburn, Crag, and Shovel Knight. Now, as far as what colors change on him with each character, we're going to go through that list now. Okay, so for the list of characters and what changes on him, Claren changes his beak and feet, Raster changes the stripe over his chest, Absa changes his entire body color pretty much, Eliana, it's the hat and the bottom of his board. Silvanos, his hat, beak, feet, and the top of his board. For Maple, it's the bottom and top of his board and his hat. Whenever his hat changes colors, it's because of the rings around Maple's tail. So for Ori, his feathers and wheels change colors. And for Orcane and Edelus, his feathers also change colors. For Edelus, the little bandages that's at the top of Edelus's arms by like where the ice is on that top, whatever color that is, that's what changes his feathers. And then for Rano, the only things that change color is the wheels on his skateboard. But I figured I had to put that in anyway because I just want to make sure that every character that changes colors for the buddy in any way shape or form is in the video. I do hope you guys are enjoying these buddy videos. Uh, this one and the Freya video are both 10 plus minutes. I do apologize for that, but you don't have to worry about the last two buddies because they're not going to cover nearly as many characters. The only ones we have left are Aldor and Loxabot. And then after that, we're done until Definitive Edition comes out and there's a bunch more buddies that I'm gonna have to get to whenever that day comes. I do wanna talk a little bit about Definitive Edition. I wanna get you guys' thoughts on when you think Definitive Edition is gonna drop. Personally, I think it might drop in September, simply because it'll be the five year anniversary of when Rivals went into open beta, early access, whatever you guys wanna call it, back in 2015. I know Dan said it's gonna drop during the summer, but a lot of the times Dan can't always guarantee the dates, like it's definitely coming out now. Sometimes it just goes a little bit further than he intended to. I'm really excited for when Definitive Edition comes out because there's just gonna be so much content to just play in the game and then there's going to be so much content that I'm going to be making for YouTube. I might replay story mode just to have it uh, super fresh and, and new for everyone. Then as I unlock the buddies and the other skins that come out, I'm also going to be doing skin showcases for that as well. And then I'll probably also do some stuff like Abyss mode and see how far I can go, maybe do it with some friends and if it's Abyss online that'll be really good because then we'll be able to have a full party all the time. Maybe do some like Abyss versus with all the runes and stuff and see what other runes the other characters have. But if we can get like Abyss versus online and everybody can put runes, you know, be like a free for all, that'll be pretty insane. Also comment below, let me know what you guys are excited about for Definitive Edition. Maybe you're excited about those cool skins that you get whenever you buy the DLC before Definitive Edition drops. 
because those are gonna be pretty cool and you can spray paint words on the stage and stuff it's also gonna be really cool having the game on the switch because that's just gonna have a lot of smash players that are gonna come over and play the game give it a shot hopefully they like it and it just grows the community like exponentially and then that means like whenever we have future rcs online tournaments that they're just gonna be even bigger and then of course the local tournaments there's gonna be a bunch of people that already play smash that when they go there they're gonna be like hey i play this game on my switch now i'm gonna play in the local tournament and then we'll just have even bigger and bigger tournaments i think that's gonna do it for me for today i hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video and I hope you guys also leave a like because that helps me out a lot. And then also just comment some random stuff or just any of the topics that I brought up that we can talk about in the comments below. Go to my description, go to the Smash GG link so you can get all those buddies that you don't have already. And also click on Instagram and Twitter and Twitch and go follow me on all that stuff too. But anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day, everyone.